Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian. And for this month's practical making, we are going to be using solar dye, which I think turned out very cool. It's going to be up to you guys what you want to use to make the image for the solar dye. I've included a stencil sheet and some film that you can draw on with a permanent marker to use. You can also use things like safety pins, flowers, you can cut out paper to make a confetti pattern, really whatever you want. But I will walk you through the steps of how to use the solar dye, expose the solar dye, and then get rid of excess solar dye. So let's get started. Okay, so these are the things that you should have in your bag. A blue glove, um, there should be your dye, a sponge to apply the dye, you've got your film, um, your stencil, you've got your bag, and then you have the plastic sheet that will go in your bag to make sure the dye doesn't go to the other side and four pins to help hold it in place. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and put that black plastic separator in your bag and that's gonna make sure that whatever you put on one side doesn't bleed over to the other side. You can draw on the film with permanent marker or you can use the stencil that I've provided. You can also use something that you find, flowers, safety pins, uh, something you cut out of paper, it's really up to you what you want an imprint of. But when you are ready to do your dyeing, put on the glove, use your sponge, and pretty liberally go ahead and dab that on. You're gonna want it to be damp. It will still work if it's barely on there, but you'll get a much more vivid color the thicker you kind of dab that dye on there. Um, and if it sat for a little bit and separated, go ahead and stir it up so it's kind of a milky color instead of milky at the bottom and clear on the top. And we're just going to dab that on. And then we will set on top of it um, whatever we want to cover up. Um, so basically the way this works is the sun will activate the dye that it can see. So wherever you have black marker or paper, that's going to stay white and everything else is going to change color with that dye. And what we will learn is you want to make sure that whatever you have is pressed down on that paper very securely um, because if the sun can get underneath it, it will certainly try to do so. So I've got so wet there, it's kind of leaking on the tabletop. Um, and go ahead and get all the way to the corners. After uh, we expose this, you'll see there's some spots that I have missed. I'm going to do the stencil because I think that's the easiest way to kind of see. And I'm going to use these pins to pin it in place. Um, the other thing that I found out is more pins are better, um, which you'll see when I expose the bag at the end. Uh, so I've actually given you more than four pins because there's really not a good spot on this to like put a rock to help hold it down uh, and so the pins are really what's going to keep that right next to the fabric so you get a sharp crisp sun dye um, instead of something that's a little more muted if you don't want to use the stencil you want to draw on the film find the smooth side and the slightly tackier side you want to draw on the slightly tackier side of the paper um, and you want to make sure that your lines are pretty thick the image that i had at the beginning did not give me a super great print which i was a little disappointed in um, so i'm going to suggest if you're going to draw something just make sure it's really blocky and really dark and that you've got it laid down with those pins so the sun definitely won't get through. And then we are going to take it outside. So as you can see, the sun starts to work its magic almost instantly. It's even darker after we've waited about three minutes. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to leave it out here for 10 to 24 minutes. The nice thing is you'll be able to see how that dye is working. So if you want it darker, leave it out for longer. If it hits a color that you like before then, go ahead and take it in sooner. All right, and then this is pretty much after 10 minutes, so I don't think we're gonna need to stay out for the full 20. I like this orange. It's nice and bright and vibrant. Um, some of you got orange, some of you got blue, some of you got red, and some of you got violet. So here is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take it inside. You're gonna use the clear solution in the smaller container. 
with um, like a bowl full of water or in your sink and you're basically going to wash out all of the extra dye and that should get you something that looks a lot like this. So you can sort of see the parts where it got a little clearer because the stencil was pressed down really tight as opposed to the parts where the sun kind of got in underneath. So learn from my mistakes. Make sure that you press that stencil down or whatever it is that you're using really firmly so you can get a nice crisp print. Um, you're going to want to wash it for five to ten minutes um, and then go ahead and let it dry. All of that excess dye should be out and you're all finished. Thank you for following along. I hope you found that as cool as I did. Next month we are going to be doing uh, resin coasters. Um, when I was growing up, Shark Week was in August, and turns out uh, it's not that way anymore. July is actually when Shark Week happens. So these are shark themed because sharks are cool no matter what month it is. I hope to see you then. Bye.